It's Saturday morning, and I don't want to spend my entire weekend trying and failing to beat one boss and get nothing else done in the entire game. So I'm going to do some other stuff and leave the beast clergyman behind for a while. I have come back here to the Weeping Peninsula. This is the Tombsward Catacombs. And I have come back here because I had a note that there is a stone sword key door here. And there is, in fact, one of those here. So I'm going to see what we get from this besides skeletons. Why am I not... Oh, okay, so the menu is something there. So <laughs> the menu was still on the screen, so I couldn't attack. That was funny. Nomadic Warrior's Cookbook, number nine. Okay. What's so special about Nomadic Warrior's Cookbook, number nine? That's the wrong one. I am using a controller this morning. My cat has jumped up on my desk and is bumping into the mouse, so she's also controlling the game. Nomadic Warrior number nine lets us craft a Rancor pot. Okay. Interesting. I'm not sure that's uh, worth anything to me. Well, okay, we did it. I can cross that off my list. So another thing I have uh, realized is that out here in Lyurnia of the Lakes, down at the four belfries, I got another key, which will open one of these portals. I got the key from... Let's see, I think I got it from a chest in the Celia, the town of Celia, the sorcery town of Celia. Uh, it was behind one of the sealed doors in town, which you unlock by um, um, lighting those candles. So I'm going to read these again. The Precipice of Anticipation. Okay, so I think that might take me back to the Church of Anticipation, which is where you started the game. That is my guess on that one. Let me check this other one. If that's the case, then I want to go there. This one is the Crumbling Lands. That's got to be the Crumbling Ferrum Agila. Okay, so I don't want to go back there because I just came from there. So I'm going to... I'm going to use my other imbued stone sword key. This is the right one, right? Precipice of Anticipation. This has got to take me back to the beginning of the game. I'm going to use my one and only imbued sword key. Lost with use. And get rid of the menu and go through the portal and see where it takes us. My cat is staring at me on my desk. Yes, the Chapel of Anticipation. We are back at the beginning of the game. Uh, wait, this is a different place at the beginning of the game. Ah! You gotta be kidding me. <laughs> Wow. Oh, so that's what would... Okay, so if 
by some incredible stroke of luck, you actually made it through the Grafted Scion boss fight. You would walk off the edge and fall down to your death, and that's how you would get to the cave. And, uh... start the game that oh man that must if anybody did that that must have been such <laughs> that's so funny so let's uh let's kill this grafted scion don't walk backwards yeah because i think we're on the other side of the boss fight here And this area is near uh, the Stormvale Castle. Oh, the tree's still burning. So this is a place that I, I've been looking at for a while, off in the distance, wondering what it was and how I could get to it. But it, it turns out that it's um, it's the place where you started the game, which is pretty cool. And when you come out of the the elevator and first look at Limgrave, you're looking in the distance right at the uh, the place where you started. Yeah, this is going much better. Watch this. That didn't work like I thought it would. Oh, man. What? Did I hear somebody say something? He said something like hollow beast? Oh, God. I need to not just mess around with this guy and put him down. Because <laughs> he's going to kill me if I'm not careful. trying to be all fancy with him. Am I hitting him? Yeah. Ornamental straight sword and a golden beast crest shield. Cool. Let's check out the shield, which is a great shield. The Golden Beast Crest Shield. A shield of dull gold with a beast engraved as its crest. Lighter than most great shields and subsequently easier to wield. The beast depicted is Serosh, aged counselor who guides the golden lineage. Huh. Okay. And the sword is not the bloody Helis. There's a lot of just plain straight swords in the game. The ornamental straight sword. A slender straight sword patterned after a unique... No, I said that wrong. A slender straight sword patterned after an antique ornament. Superior swordsmen prefer to wield one in each hand. After falling from grace, the dregs of the golden lineage sought power and purpose in the past. Is this like a dual-wielding sword? No, it's just a standard sword. How do you wield two of them if you only have one? How do you get a second one? And here we are, back where we started from. And now we go see if there's anything cool back here. Because uh, going back to where you started from is often a thing in Souls games. There's often something waiting there for you. There's the message. There is nothing waiting here for me. But there is this door over here 
which is open now. Yes. There is something new waiting for me here. And here's an item. The Stormhawk King. Whoa. Which is a key item? Ashes of a hawk which heeds no summons. Revered by all others as sovereign back in the days when Stormvale's winds still raged like no other. This ancient monarch is proud, however, refusing to answer anyone's summons. That is interesting. When Stormvale's winds raged like no other. Huh. I feel like the, the setting of this game is set far into the future of the Souls games. That's sort of a feeling I get. So I keep wondering if that's referring to something back in the Souls games. Like maybe the, the Nameless King. I think the one... The Storm King or something like that. Stormhawk Dean. Dina. <laughs> Is the item we got from this... Thing here. The spirit of Stormhawk Dean. A fierce hawk that faithfully rendered lifelong service to the old king of Stormvale long ago. When the true storm raged, its cries emboldened its fellows in battle, and the tempestuous winds that encircle it shred through foes. Oh well, that sounds interesting. And that's, uh, like one of the legendary ashes, too. Interesting. So that's what we got when we come back to where we started from. Cool. Here's a loose end that I made a note of. Out here in the Altus Plateau. There was a Falling Star Beast out here that I ran screaming away from. Unfortunately, there's no convenient bonfire nearby. I think I stumbled onto this boss by accident. And then it killed me pretty much right away. And then I never went back to it. Whoa. There's an item here. Corin's bell bearing? Corin's robe? A flail? Oh! <gasps> That's the priest! He never made it to the Golden Mask guy. He died on the road. Corin's gear. Where is his, uh... Even after exile, Corin refused to recant his prophecies, and for this he was blessed with the guidance of grace. Since then, the cartwheel draped on his neck has served as a reminder. That true guidance awaits those with iron wills, those with unwavering faith. What was the other thing? Did he draw? I don't know. It's, I just don't know. He had a bell bearing, the robe, and one other thing, and I don't know what the other thing is. Well, now I have to go back to Round Table Hold. So he left to go find the gold mask, and he never made it. Poor guy. Yeah, these are all his faith spells. Oh, maybe because I gave him all those her heretical things. He, he died on the road. He went crazy because I, uh, I gave him too many 
heretical items. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. Well, now let's go back to where I was before. I think I had a better pathway going the other way. Hopefully they won't shoot at me as I leave. Oh, there's a grace right there. And there's a, a tree over there that probably has a... Uh, golden seed, maybe, unless I've already gotten to it. The Altus Highway Junction. What's your function? Uh, looks like I've already gotten that golden seed. Wow, how did I get this golden seed and not notice there was a grace right here? I am not very observant, apparently. So, I am trying to get to the opposite side of this highway. Oh, I think there's something flies down on this staircase, maybe? Or maybe it's the other staircase. I don't know. I think a gargoyle comes down on one of those staircases. Somebody's shooting at me, I think. Let's fight some easy enemies. Oh, well, they're not that easy. Well, kind of easy. Yes, there is definitely a boss up here, I believe. A falling star beast. Oh, he's not dead. Whoa, somebody's behind me. Okay. Problem solved. I don't know why I'm using the Godskin Peeler all of a sudden, instead of my uh, weapons that are probably better, but... I just like the God Skin Peeler, that's why. Uh oh. It's very effective. And fast. Fast and effective. Huh. <laughs> There's a. Uh... Somebody hanging out up there. All right, let's get ready to rumble. Let's hope this is a, uh, which press to do a backstab. There we go. I'm pretty sure I dodged that. One hit. Oh, can we get some timing? The answer is no, we can't. I'm 
so as long as we don't get hit, it's fine. As long as he doesn't hit us or anything. Or do this crazy uh, gravity move, which <laughs> always hits us. My hits are not doing a lot, a lot of damage. Oh, he's charging again. Run up to him, run up to him. Ouch. Nope. He's not gonna let me do my, uh, my big charge attack. I'm not gonna have time to do it. Clink, clink. It just kind of bounces off him. <laughs> Charge attack. Nope. Oh, I, I hit him. I really hit him. Look out, look out, look out, look out. Dodge, dodge, dodge and stuff. Not, not dodging enough. It's a tail swipe. We got him. Yeah! Falling star beast, enemy felled. Whoa! Somber smithing stones. Regular smithing stone, gravity stone fans, gravity stone chunks. I don't know what any of that stuff is. Otherwise, this crater is empty. But we successfully got some runes out of it. Well, yay us. We completed another loose end. There's another one out at the ninth uh, Mount Gelmer camp. I think this one is going to be more difficult. And also, I'm not sure this weapon is my best weapon for this. So I'm thinking maybe I'll try Moonvale this time. Okay, I forgot how to jump using the controller. There we go. So we need to avoid his charges. Then we can jump down and start fighting him. Terrain stinks. This is really a bad place to fight him, standing on a bunch of jagged rocks like this. Such a terrible place to fight. Okay, now he's gonna do this charge move. I can't get away from him. What? What? Okay, sure. What? What? That's... Okay, just great. I can't even target him. Okay, wow, that was good. Good job. <laughs> what? <laughs> so we run around until... He finishes his charge moves. Okay, I didn't get out of that one. Oh wow, okay, not good damage with magic. This one's harder, I can tell. This one is definitely harder. <laughs> Just roll into every attack. What the hell? What? 
I can't get the timing on this. I just can't. I'm just getting hit by everything. Now we're starting to get some... Ah! I can't get... Oh, jeez. There's that again. What? I can't... I'm pressing all the buttons to bring up shields and dodge and stuff, and it just doesn't matter. It just doesn't matter. I'm just getting hit by every single attack. Out of healing? Oh god. Run up to him, run up to him. What? How did that hit me? I'm just on the ground all the time. Heal. Gotta get the timing right on that, or no. No timing. Didn't get that timing right. Oh, I hit him. Cool. I can't get this timing. I'm just getting nailed by everything. Okay, here's phase two. Okay, okay. I don't know what he's doing. It's some gravity beam or something. I can't see anything. Still getting hit by every attack. Oh, right, right, okay. Oh, I'm almost dead. I'm dead. Oh, I'm so lucky. Man, I'm glad I got more flask because I'm just chewing through the healing flask here. Oh, he went away. Oh god, I'm dead. I'm gonna fall off the edge. He's gonna push me off the edge. Oh, I got so lucky there. <laughs> I got very lucky he didn't push me off the edge. I gotta move away from him to get back into a place I can fight him without worrying about falling off the edge. Oh, I thought I dodged that. Oh, God. Look out! Uh, okay, couldn't... Oh, God, the timing on that. Okay, here comes the, uh, charge. Okay. Oh, I got him. Yes. Look out. Hit him. Oh, stamina, stamina, stamina. Get up to him. Okay, there's that. Get him. Ah, couldn't get it off in time. Oh, this again? gonna hit me. Hit him, hit him, hit him. Hit him. Hit him. No! Uh. Again. Again a boss with no health left. Literally empty health bar. And it's not dead. 
<laughs> Again with that. Again. It's like the third or fourth time that has happened to me in this game. Whoops. I'm not gonna win this fight. Nope, nope, nope. Bad timing. And we're out of heels. Hit the button! Jesus! Oh, he's doing that again? I can't get away from them. I just can't get away from them. I just gotta hit him. Dodge for your life! Nope. He just, he just kept dodging away from me, so I couldn't get to him to hit him. He's killing me. Yeah, I'm dead. What? Because I had the mana flask selected instead of the healing flask. Oh my god, I just get bounced around like a pin... Oh, this move. Oh, god damn it. So... Okay, so the game just completely faked me out there. He did, the, he did the mandible clicking together thing, which every previous time that I have seen has been when he does the lightning thing that you have to dodge to the side. So I was waiting for him to start a lightning cast, and he didn't do that. He picked me up and killed me. Once again, we're down to our last health toward the end of the fight. So it's gonna come down to one decision. It's gonna be the difference between winning and losing, just like every other one. And the decision that time was not healing. stuck here. We're gonna get picked up. Yep. Even though I didn't think I was anywhere near that effect, but sure, why not? Okay, we can't heal. Yeah, we can't heal. We're dead. Nice. Awesome. All right, let's try getting this guy again. Let's go back to, yeah, back to mouse and keyboard now. Oh. That's one reason why it's a really bad place to fight that guy. much stamina. Oh man, I'm lucky I'm not dead. Can I get up? God, yeah, I hear on the ground so... Oh, he's charging. Yeah, of course he's charging. Again, just rotten luck. Just constant rotten luck in this boss fight. You know, all I needed was a chance to heal to continue that fight, but no, he just chose that moment to start charging at you, which is like one of the most dangerous things he does. If you don't time that dodge perfectly right, he's gonna kill you. It's just a terrible time for him to charge at you. Just everything about this fight is just rotten luck. That's, this is a fight of rotten luck. <laughs> That's what I will remember this boss fight for. Just constant, over and over again, rotten luck. Getting bounced around like a pinball. I 
haven't even hit him yet. Been in this fight for like minutes and I have not hit him one time. I can't. <laughs> Just... Oh, charging. I got lucky with the dodge and it didn't help. It didn't help a bit. I'm just gonna keep hitting him with this over and over again. Oh, get up there. Ugh. Heal. Now this is it. Oh man, did I get lucky on that. Get in there. Close to him. Oh, charge. It's the charge move. Oh, what's that? That's the beam of death. Ah. Oh. Heal. Gotta keep getting close to him. Oh, this. Get the shield up. Oh, that's gotta hurt. Oh, I'm gonna fall off the edge. Gotta get away from the edge. Get away from the edge. Oh, I don't have... Oh, damn it. Now he charges. Ah! Uh, oh, I got so lucky there. Get down. Get down. Use the other heal. Use the other potion. Give us a little extra boost. Oh, damn it. Rotten luck. Rotten luck. Oh, God, button cue, and I'm stuck here. Oh, this. Get in that. Get up to him. God, just so much rotten luck. I can't get a chance to do anything. I can't hit him at all. He just won't stand still. Oh, I've been here. Oh, God. Come on, hit him. Yes! Oh, I thought it was going to happen again. Somber Smithing Stone Tier 6, Smithing Stone Tier 6, Falling Star Beast Jaw, which is a weapon. Oh, man, I thought it was going to happen again where his health bar was empty, but I still lost the fight. <laughs> that would have been the second time that it happened. Oh, man, what a... What an annoying boss fight. That boss fight I will remember for being the boss fight where you just get hit with rotten luck over and over and over again. The whole fight. It's a terrible place to fight. The arena is horrible. You get stuck on rocks constantly. If you get stuck down here, you can't move the way you want to. You fall off the edge sometimes. Sometimes he pushes you off the edge. His moves are really random, so you just... Oh, God. What a terrible boss fight. Did not like. But it's finally over. What did we get from him? The Falling Star Beast Jaw, which is a colossal striking and piercing weapon that requires 34 strength. Part of a Falling Star Beast Jaw, hard and shining black, fashioned into a weapon. With its sharp point, this colossal weapon can skewer foes and the unique skill 
There's a gravity boat. It's colossal. It's a colossal weapon. Which I can't use. Huh. <laughs> Funny. Alright, well, I think that's going to be the end of my uh, loose ends montage here. Probably going to edit all of this into one video. Cut out all of me complaining about this boss fight. And then I'll try to figure out something else to do on this Saturday and Sunday. Which I don't... I don't want to waste all of the weekend just on repeated failed attempts at the Beast Caller, the Beast Clergyman boss in the Crumbling Ferrum Agila. So I'm doing other stuff. <laughs>